Hello there, this is Zalera Law, also known as Mark, and his wife, Exluvia. Hello. Also known as Lauren. And today we're switching roles. Um, Lauren is going to be playing an adventure game I played growing up that she's never heard of before, and pretty much nobody has, called Mad Dog Williams. Um, it's available on the Atari ST, Amiga, and DOS, and we're going to be playing the ST version. Yep, I have not heard of this game before. Who is it by? Um, it's by the game creators. It's the only game they've actually put Pretty out. Uh, yes, they have a website, and something like 2004, they said they were working on the sequel for it, but they haven't finished it, and I haven't seen anything about it, so who knows what's going on with them. But they do offer it free uh, if you want to get the DOS version. Sorry about the Atari ST screen, but its OS was a little strange. Granted, of course, this is how it worked back in uh, 1985. Oh, fun. .prg. Um, no? No. Okay. And by the way, he chose a difficulty for me, so I have no idea how hard this is going to be. It's a hard difficulty you because... You said it was creators, it's crafters. Oh. Well, I remember wrong. I'll include a link to their website. How's that? Okay. Ooh, that's a little loud. Yeah, a little loud. Yeah, there's no volume control on my headset. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'll get used to it. Adventures of Mad Dog Williams in the Dungeons of Dur Duridian. 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 Yes, that's the entire name. The Adventures of Mad Dog Williams in the Dungeons of Duridian. All right. Huh. Ronlo versus. I wonder if they're related to Roblo. Who's Roblo? I believe he was one of the people at Sierra. Oh, okay. And that's Richard Lowe. And Doug. Oh! That's like a family yeah, thing here, man. Yeah. Uh, this game came out in 1990. Except for Jay Steckenert. And there's an interesting story with it. Um, my mother got a copy of it for free, and it had a bug on the discs she had, and they actually accepted the disc and gave her a fixed copy for free, which was really cool of them. What was the bug? I don't remember. My mom's the one who encountered it. Uh, is it in this version? I played all the way through in this version. There's one screen that doesn't look right, and a couple of sprites that are a little fuzzy, but otherwise it plays just fine. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to say yes, because it is. King, okay. Welcome, adventurer, to the world of Mad Dog Williams, a world of castles and kings, of great dragons and lovely princesses. All wars of the lovely dragons and great princesses. Many years ago, in the lands known as Duradin, Duridian. Why is that so hard for you to say? I don't know. It looks weird. There was a kind and gracious king named Serac. That sounds like an evil king. The kingdom of Duridian stretched from the great northern deserts and as far as the valley of Marinor to the south. It is a land wrapped in legend and lore, a land filled with many magical and mystical creatures. I mean, besides dragons. Dragons get all the rep, man. They're dragons. Well, yeah, but there's lots of other magical creatures you can mention besides dragons. Anyways, King Serac ruled the lands of Duridian from the great city known as Sidra by the sea. That's a long name for a city. What the hell is with his cape? That's some shoved up there. Okay, the original version didn't even have this intro sequence, just the wizard talking the whole time. Okay then, many ships from distant ports sought out refuge and rest in the quiet harbors of Duridian. The stone spires of Sidra were a sign of peace and goodwill to all who saw them. The people of Duridian hailed their king and spoke his name with respect and honor. In return, Sarek would protect them from the thieving pirates to the east and the barbarians of Korbala to the west. You gonna read all of this? This is gonna take a very long time. Well, you want me to skip it then? Well, I mean, out loud. Uh. But you can if you want. Ah, might as well. Then one dark day, the high priest of the evil demon god, Malthazar, began to influence Sarek's mind with his sorcery, and time turned the loving king into a life of oh, to a life of corruption, not into a life of corruption. Yeah. 
Sarek enslaved the people of the land and forced the men of Viridian to build a new castle far to the west, atop the Korbala Mountains. He named his new fortress the Castle of Viridian, and for miles around he burned and ravaged the lands. Why would he do that? I mean, where does he get his food? This day, those lands are still called the Desolation of Sarek. There's a lot of plot holes in this. It's interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of plot holes in this. By the way, the woman is completely naked in the DOS version. Really? Huh. She's got scraps on in this. Yeah, I can tell that that's, like, that's some really tight leather. I was wearing a cat suit. As the years passed, Sarek became more and more corrupted by the powers of Malthazar. He lived an evil life and, for many years, ruled his people with blood and terror. Ruling with blood, huh? Okay. Most of the peasants were forced out of their homes and into a life of poverty and sickness. During his reign, many of Sarek's men tried to rebel against him, only to end up as food for the creatures of the dungeons. Where did he get the creatures? There were a lot of myth mythical creatures around. Well, yeah, it's like, hey, you want to join my to be in my dungeon and eat people? Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Often, Sherak would choose young maidens from among his people. They were torn from their families and sacrificed to the evil god Malthazar. I, why do people worship demons? Because they give them power? I guess. It doesn't sound like he's giving this person power, though. It just sounds like he's corrupting his mind. Like, it doesn't even mention the evil priest at this point. It didn't mention the priest for a while. One man, Sir Robert Thaler, dared to stand against the power of Serac. In secret, he gathered together an army of men and trained them in the art of war. In a small secluded cottage, Thaler and a few of his best men spent many nights planning the attack upon Serac and his evil army. What, they're just ignore the demon. Thaler's army is gathered in the forest south of the castle of Duradin. Didn't everything around there was a giant wasteland? Whatever. There they waited in the darkness for the first sign of dawn. White wizards of the north. Really? White wizards? Okay. Yep. Joined Thaler and with his army marched across the great desolation of Sarek to vanquish the evil king and restore peace to the land. See, that's how they came from the forest. Dogwood? Okay, that's not how that... The battle raged between good and evil... The battle between good and evil raged for days. Many good lives were lost in the rebellion, but in the end, the armies of Thalor defeated Serac and scattered his men into the desolate wilderness. In time, Thalor's men captured the evil king Serac. He was taken to the castle of Viridian, where the white wizards cast him into an enchanted cell to live forever in eternal banishment. So what? They didn't get rid of the demon or anything. The once great castle of Duridan, Duridan, damn it, was left in ruin as a reminder of the evil that once ruled there. Shut up! They say Duridian a lot in this game. Eventually you'll get it right. This is a lot of text in the beginning. I, I did mention that. Well, they, yeah. They had a whole novella that came with it, and they decided to put half of it into the game. When Thaler returned from the battle of the township of Sidra celebrated their victory over Sarek, the people of Duridian hailed Sir Robert Thaler and chose him to be their new king. But they didn't get rid of the demon. The demon was from a different dimension. They didn't say that, they just said they were worshipping the evil demon. King Thaler vowed to restore the kingdom of Duridian to its good and prosperous state. Once again, Sidra by the sea was a beacon of hope and prosperity. They also didn't say that Thaler was like his nephew, Sarek's. No, I didn't say he was... What, is Sarek's nephew? He's related to him somehow. It's his cousin or his nephew, something like that. Okay. Twenty years have passed, and the kingdom of Duridian has lived in peace. New townships are built along the coast of Duridian, and the battle against Sarek is just a memory in the tired minds of old warriors. I respect your veterans, people. King Thaler kept his vow and has ruled the kingdom for many years with a kind and gentle hand. What the hell happened to the priest and the demon? For many years, the kingdom grew, and Sidra by the Sea again is a good and prosperous city. Yeah, we got that already. King Thaler finally married after satisfying his thirst for adventure. A thirst for something else. Her, her. With his wife by his side, <laughs> they raised their daughter. They raised their only daughter, who they named Leora. Princess Leora grew up in a peaceful land, never knowing the evil that her father had faced, except in the stories he would sometimes tell. 
Yeah, that's gonna backfire, isn't it? But alas, the peaceful calm of the kingdom has been shuddered. Once again, the evil name of Sarek is whispered in fear among the people. Not the, not the demon's name, whatever. Rumors abound that he has escaped his enchanted cell in the castle of Dridian and now has now captured the good king Thaler and his beautiful daughter Leoria. What happened to the queen? Mothers don't matter. Okay, you have been sent to Marnor as mentor and friend to Mad Dog Williams, inventor by trade and a lover of antiques. Is your mission to aid Mad Dog in ridding the world of the evil that is spreading on this once quiet land? Stop, stop. Before you press enter, this is really strange about the way this game works. You are supposed to be an entity of some sort helping Mad Dog, who's the main character. So you're you're actually so not you, the main character. you, the person, the player who's playing the game... Isn't the main character. Or, yes, you're not actually the main character. The main character talks to you. So like That's you try really to get weird. him to do something he doesn't want to do, he'll say, no, you do it. Anyways, continue. Okay, and they don't mention where the hell Mad Dog Williams came from. It's like, oh, r random Joe... It's in the, um... Novella that we're not reading. It's in the novella, yeah. That's the other half. Apparently his, his father was one of the lead soldiers that fought in the war and ended up becoming a captain on a ship. That's some heavy text for this thing that... Oh, okay. Only those of honest heart and noble spirit may journey beyond the borders of Marinor. I, being the guardian of this world, will ask you three questions found on the map of the lands of Duridian. Only those who can answer them correctly will be permitted into the mystical and dangerous lands beyond the borders of the quiet valley that is Mad Dog's home. Who names your kid Mad Dog? He wasn't named Mad Dog. His actual name is something else. It happened when he challenged a uh, pirate to a drinking contest. And he won because he gulped the whole thing down really quickly and got froth all over his face. And the pirate said he was looked like a Mad Dog and he decided to take that as his name. That's really strange. I guess there's worse there's a lot of very strange. I guess there's worse ways game. to get nicknames. Okay, so how many entrances are shown to the mouth of our caves? And I have the map pulled up because I'm gonna do this the hard way. Mouth of our caves. Bottom right. Um, I'm seeing three. We'll press enter first. I mean, I don't. But that, you know, in other adventure games, if I pressed enter first, that would be wrong. And I would have entered enter as my answer. You're not helping me either. Okay. The desolation of Sarek is north, south, east, or west of the Forbidden Mountains. Um, can I just say... Right. Just type it in. You don't want to get this wrong. Yeah, we do. We totally want to do this all over again. What forest is west of Narnor? Well, the village or the valley, because it shows there's two, whatever. Yeah, it's west of both of them. Well, true, still. Uh, Are there... Elven Forest. Answer my questions wisely. Oh, that's not wise, that. that's just knowledge. Whatever. Megan, begin your adventure, but remember these words? I talk to you goddamn much. If the two of you should fail, the lands of Duridian and Marinor will be plunged into an everlasting darkness ruled by the evil king Sarak. And no mention of the demon again. Now go forth, great adventure, meet your destiny. Or now adventure to enter Marinor, okay? So one thing you're going to want to do right off is press F2 for help once you're starting the game. Okay. It just tells you what the special keys are. Uh. Why is in the morning? Okay, I'm not gonna read the rest of this. This is that would make everything take like really long. There is a lot of text in this game. There is a lot of text in this game. Okay, and I'm gonna be reading as much as I can, but I'm a fairly fast reader, so you might need to pause on occasion. If you want to read this. Because, of course, you know, inventors have to make Greg Goldberg machines to show how awesome of inventors they are. Okay, so press F6. You said F2. Yes, F2 shows you this. You want to set the speed to fast. Uh, it's going to drive you crazy. Mode, show the screen. 
Oh, they have repeat less line types. Okay. Save game, restore game, set speed, show inventory. Okay. Quit control J. We're not using the joystick. Brightness. Oh, they have brightness things. Act as fire button when number pad is selected. That's weird. Display less. Display less scroll. Oh, oh, that must be text. Okay. Uh, fast. Okay, it has the King's Quest early things where you you'll just keep walking play bumps into something. He doesn't keep walking once he hits the edge of a screen though. Yeah. And you have to press the stuff. Okay. Okay. I just opened the thing. You're in your pajamas. Were you just sleeping in your clothes, you weirdo? Okay, how'd you get there in the first place then? I mean, because you're standing on it. Okay. You know, it'd be a little difficult to play a game where you have to use... Where you have to use a sword to fight things if you didn't have a sword. I don't know, you might! <laughs> this adventure game, you should... Take everything with you in case you need it, you weirdo. This is King Graham, he isn't. But that's a window. Oh. Wait, the window's like inset into this little thing there. Okay. There's some things that do that. Mm. I thought you didn't care about the clock. Okay. By the way, this game expects you to look at almost everything. Uh. Well, what did you job. do? What did you do? You know, maybe you should save before you do something irreversible. Well, Not, you like break the vase. It, it doesn't matter that you broke the vase. It's F4 to save. Uh, that's going to be weird. And it'll look a little glitchy, but just ignore it. Wow, that's... I'm going to rewrite over your stuff. Go ahead. You have to type first. That's... okay. It's weird. Uh-huh. Says you. Oh, I see. Um, what? Just ignore that and press enter. It actually saves correctly. It just is a little glitchy. That's weird. Um, okay. You want me to look at everything, but you can't take crap. Whatever, buddy. Go. Oh, really? Okay. It, oh, okay. It so pauses when stairs. it loads other screens. Wow, he's a painting of himself. Yeah. I was going to mention the one over the door. Uh-huh. Who keeps a ch- Well, I know who- I They say, who keeps a giant portrait of themselves, you know, in their house? I'm like, rich people do. Does this person look rich? Well, possibly for this um, setting.
Hey, you got points. I've been getting points. Might as well just say, get points. Mm. What, does that work? No. Okay, um, I meant to say a little bit slow, but that's fine. This game has tons and tons of synonyms, by the way, which is actually pretty nice. Okay. Oh yeah, you how might have I, noticed you jumped jump? shift. Shift counts as pressing the joystick button. Oh, so okay, that's how that's you weird. jump. And yes, you will have to jump in this. That's another weird thing about this what game. The hell? Lots of things play music. Okay, why is a rocking side a side though? That's not. He's an inventor. That's just something he made. Okay, can I get out of it? You're strange, buddy. He is very strange. I haven't found any inventions I can take with me yet. No. Nope. Good lord, he has so much crap in his house. This is his shop. He has an antique shop. All right. Small mechanical device, huh? You probably want me to get that. I don't care. Yeah. You're trying to defeat an evil king, you weirdo! Wait, so you're not gonna, like, take anything that you might need on your quest in case somebody's gonna buy it while you're gone? So you can look at every individual <sighs> thing and it will describe them. I'm not saying you need to. But for the most part, you can't pick anything up. Okay, did I spell it wrong? Okay, it's me. So see if you can. Yeah, you probably just want me to get the skills, don't you, weirdo? You were just looking at them. You misspelled collection. Oh, it just ignored the word collection. But you just okay, okay, game, whatever. He's going to he's going to go save the world, but he's not going to take anything out of his shop. What was it again? Pull the lever. Huh. You're not going to take your money with you on your adventure to save the kingdom of you. <sighs> yeah, if I was Lord. actually a character, Lord. what? Helping him out? Smack He's him not the taking head. the box. Oh. You were better at these games. Yay, you're rich. Well, uh, why would you not take the box? Because it needs to stay in his shop. Because everything needs to stay in his shop. Just so you know, there is nothing else you could pick up in here. I'm going to try anyways. Feel free!
cheese. That's not a cheese wheel? Oh, is that a, a bowl? Okay, apparently you don't want any armor or weapons besides your sword or anything else or whatever. You don't have the key to your own shop. Why is this thing on wheels? <laughs> Where would you stick that? I don't know. The magical bag of holding that most adventure games have. And their pants. Um. Good thing you practice how to fight. What? Fight you weirdo? Fight, 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 fight. Okay. Remember what keys look? There you go. You can swing up and down by pushing up and down, by the way. Ah. Uh. And holding down blocks. Ah, okay. Well, that was. Very easy. The that fights was... don't stay very easy. Um. <laughs> See, he is dead. Okay. Lauren, loot was not a common phrase back in the 90s, oh, fine, early yeah. 90s. Um, let's see, uh, I did that, okay, yeah, how do I get his stuff? Um, You're thinking of the wrong words here. I know, I'm thinking of the wrong words here. You're the one that told me that this parser is really just one me a lot of bad, you know, it other can. phrases. Um. <laughs> what? I don't know. Um. What's the first thing you do when you see a body? Hug it with a stick? Uh, check to see if it's still alive. Okay, what's the first thing you do when you see a body if you're really poor? Roll it over. <laughs> what? I don't know. Take his boots. <laughs> do I need to tell you the words to use? What, you're not having fun with this? This is amusing. It's funny that you don't think to search the body. Oh, fine. There you go. That's what you get for your efforts. <laughs> okay, going south from the pirate reveals a fisherman. So what happened? Can you attack random people? Hmm. No. So, like, if I do F1, you just can't go in attack mode? Oh. Okay. Uh, sure. Huh. Okay. Yep.
Okay. So apparently you can fish up sea monsters here if you have the right thing. We well, don't have a key to your own shop, you weirdo. Well, let's see if I drown. You could touch water, moving water in this game. I can touch moving water. In and this you game. don't even drown. Huh, you can swim. Probably not too much of a point to that yet. You know, I never actually did that. I didn't know you could go out to sea. Okay. Well, good job, Mark. Testing that out for me. Oh, hey, look, a cave. Yeah, hey, I didn't cave. test everything. Well, tough. Go in the cave. Nothing bad ever happens in caves. Oh, I should probably say it beforehand. Oops. You're doomed. You don't know I'm doomed. I totally know you're doomed. What? Um. That's totally what I meant to do. I want to see my inventory. Or just. Sure, okay. You're gonna load one of my old games. What, load? Oh, that was loading shit. Good uh, job! Good job. I... Wait. That's near the end of the game. I'm trying to load my game. Oh, that's safe. How do I exit? You didn't over over my save, did you? Congratulations, oh. you're back at the beginning. <sighs> Goody. So I think this is a good place for us to stop for now. And I'll just have to... Lauren, the one who constantly makes a big deal about <laughs> saving early and saving often, has not saved very early or often. Well, I guess she did save early. She saved right in the beginning. Well, it's not like I've done that. She forgot her mug this time, too. Shit, that's funny. In any case, we'll see everybody later. And I'll probably just save after I re reload. Restart the recording after I finish what I've already done. Anyways, goodbye, everybody. Bye.